Thank you, Joki. Again, you guys heard from her. The theme of tonight is here to win. Please don't forget, I want to see what you guys are tweeting. Hashtag play media talk. You can catch me. My name is at Josh the Magic Man. You guys can find me on Twitter, Instagram. I will be reading your tweets, all right? And if you have any questions or whatever for any of our speakers tonight, make sure you can tweet that. And uh, during the Q&A session later, I'll make sure and ask them that. And uh, you guys will get your questions answered, all right? You, that, you did not come to see me speak. I'm going to give it up to our first speaker. He is an ordinary man, just like me and you. He one day developed a passion for running and created a community for runners known as the Indo Runners. Tonight, he is here to share with you his story. Please welcome Mr. Reza Puspo. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I think Josh already introduced myself. My name is Reza Puspo. Just an uh, ordinary uh, Joe doing my own passion, uh, especially in, in, in running. So tonight I'll be sharing a little bit of a uh, story, not about myself, but really about work, uh, especially running. And I hope this can inspire everybody around in this room and uh, viewers and out there as well. Here to win, uh, this is a given uh, team from uh, Venus. So I think they invited me about three weeks ago, a uh, month ago, uh, two months ago, <laughs> uh, where I, had, I just had an accident. That's why I'm using a brace system here. So really, this is a very good team that really connects with me. Because when you fell, you need to get up. And when you, get up, when you need to get up, you need that kind of inspiration from other people to be able to move on again. In case you're not aware, time is running out. You know, time is ticking here. We are all here racing against time. Your time, your time, your time, my own time. We are all racing. We go to school, we study. We started from elementary. Now we are in the university. That's a good stretch of 20 years plus. We are racing for something good education. Why? We need to get, we need to win the right path of career, not just a job. We are racing against everybody in this room, out there. Everybody is racing for something. Competition is very fierce. For those who are working, typically, we are working from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. You know. Typically, we are working from Friday uh, from Monday until Friday, just to to earn a good living, enough to win our daily necessity. You know, we are racing for everything in here. It's not easy actually to live without racing. And we also pray every day. In the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, we pray. You know, why? Because we need to win ourselves. You know. We want to have the right balance, inside and out. We pray every day and some people meditate, it's the same thing. The key in this world, and whatever we do, as a student, as a worker, anything that you do, is all about balance. Balance act is very important. Since day one we are born, when we cry, that's a sign of balance that we are looking for. Where's my food? Then we start to crawl, crawling, crawling, crawling. Maybe we fall. That's a balance that we are learning. Then we start to learn to walk. Walking, walking, and we fall. Walking and we fall. Same thing with, after that we learn about adolescence. After that we learn about uh, parenthood. Life is all about balancing act from day one until the end of the day. It's all about balance. Balance actually is the thing that drives us forward. Work, life balance, play, and <coughs> school balance, it's all about balancing act. Yeah. Yet, all those balances will not be achievable. It's very hard to achieve if, and this is my opinion, 
we are in poor health condition. I really believe that whatever we do, being in prime condition is very important. If you are in poor condition, it's very hard to work. It's very hard to study. It's very hard to focus on anything. So before anything, you need to take care of this. This thing here that we have, that we are born with, our body. So what do I mean by poor health? Major cause of poor health includes yeah, smoking cigarettes. I don't need to explain it to you anymore. I mean, if you buy the cigarettes, if you're still smoking, there's a caution in there. It says everything. Don't smoke. It causes this and this and that and this and that and this and that. But that's your risk. Poor diet. What do you mean by poor diet? Not eating enough. Not eating enough fruits, not eating enough good foods, not eating enough uh, good energy for the source of your body. Maybe e eating too much goreng goreng, oil, fatty, you know. It tastes good, but you know, taste is not the source of everything. You need to remember, your body speaks another language. Lack of sleep. This is also a problem with the urban people right now, these days. I think I read it somewhere on the internet, that the good uh, time or sleeping for the day is about eight hours. But right now, six hours is already, in, is already good enough, I think, for a lot of people. And why do we need to recover? Why do we need to uh, sleep enough? Because this body that we have needs to recover. We have a, we have a, a, a heart in here that's pumping 24 hours a day, every day. We talk, it pumps. We walk, it pumps. You study, it pumps. It's pumping every day. You realize it or not, maybe you are taking it for granted. But it's pumping and it's working. And naturally, anything that works, needs to sleep, needs to rest. Get your rest, six hours the best. Excessive alcohol consumption, I don't need to explain that. You know, this body that we have, it's not about consuming alcohol too much. High stress level, of course. And the last thing that's very important, what's a major cause of poor health, I think, especially in Indonesia, is inactivity or I call it unsport, not doing enough sport. <coughs> so, the trend is, for a lot of people who are not doing a lot of sport, although everybody knows the benefit of sport, you know, they are still not burning enough calories. They are not moving their bodies enough. Or they are making sport, uh, they are not making sport as their uh, lifestyle, everyday lifestyle, you know. So their quote usually is, okay, uh, just do it, but tomorrow, <laughs> and tomorrow, and tomorrow. I mean, this is happening a lot, a lot of time. Right? Whenever I ask my friends, hey, let's go run, swim, or uh, cycle, which is my hobby. And they keep saying, okay, or maybe tomorrow, okay. So it's very easy to say no. And that needs to change. Otherwise, you know, your time is ticking. So if you're talking about, okay, I'm sorry about the graphic, it's very hard to read. I pulled this data from Bloomberg. Uh, this is a data in 2015. It's about world healthiest nation. Out of 196 uh, nations in this world, Indonesia ranks number 90. And the health uh, score is 33%. Compared to Singapore, uh, if you cannot read that, that number one is actually Singapore, and their health score is 84%, almost uh, 85%. Singapore, that's a small nation. If you're looking at the map, it's just that small dot. But the, their mindset about being healthy, living and in, in, in taking care of their body is out there already. Um, our mindset in Indonesia is quite different. It's only 30%, meaning what? Maybe we are not eating enough good food. Maybe we are not taking care of our body uh, quite often. That's why this number shows in here 30% only. And I'm hoping this will change soon. In terms of life expectancy, uh, Singapore ranks number three. Their average uh, uh, life expectancy is 84.74. Whereas Indonesia, out of 195 nations, we are ranking number 140. 
the life expectancy in Indonesia is 72.45 years. So if I count it right, I have about 27 years left. And ticking, 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 ticking. So it's time to change. We have to change this mindset. You know, we have to change in Indonesia. We have to leave our old habits, and we have to win this. We have to win ourselves and start from ourselves. How? I think sport is the answer. Sport is a good balance for our body. Our biological body in here crave for activities. You know. It needs to do sport from time to time. I'm not asking you to become the Olympian in 2020 in Tokyo. I don't ask you to become in the podium on Asian Games in 2018. But what I'm asking is, start to concern about your body, start doing it routinely, maybe three times a week, and for a session do it like half an hour to 45 minutes, just start to move. You don't, if you don't like to run, do something else. You can do uh, bicycling, you can do uh, swimming, you can go to the gym. I think gym is a, uh, uh, there's a lot of gyms around uh, in Jakarta these days. Just keep yourself, uh, remember that you have to move your body. Because this body that we have, if you think about it, we are born with legs and arms. We are not created to sit down from 9 to 6 in front of the screen all the time. You know? Or after work, go home and then find a couch and then sit down again for another two or three hours just like this. So that's bad for the body. That's what I'm trying to remind you guys. Half an hour a day, that's quite good enough. By the way, that's me in the new toll road in Chipali. I was testing the road before it was open. It's quite hot, but it's really nice in there. So what is sport? If you open the Dictionary, the def definition of sport is athletic activity requiring skill or physical pro proneness and often of a competitive nature as racing, baseball, tennis, golf, bowling, wrestling, boxing, hunting, etc. That's sport. Uh, the synonyms for sports, action, exercise, physical activity, and play. Play is fun. So try to do it in fun, with fun. Yeah. And I never met, uh, I never see in dictionary where it states that sport is hard, sport is tiring, or sport is boring. None of that. So I think it's time to go with a new way to good health. My uh, Forty is running. That's why I'm giving a good example for running. Why are running? Running is the oldest sport, oldest means of sport in, in this world. It's the easiest form of sport to do. You don't need to buy any uh, any uh, equipment. All you need is actually just your shoes, pair of shoes. And if you don't have pair of shoes, you can do it barefoot running. That's not a problem as well. Just make sure that you're running in a nice track without any debris, without any nails on it. It's the cheapest form of sport. Like I said, all you need is just a pair of shoes. And it's the easiest basic form of sport. Unlike swimming, swimming is all about technique. You know, because you are not doing breathing underwater every day. But we are walking every day, we are running every day, so it's very easy. All you have to do is just make remind your feet to walk and to run and if you don't have any friends to run with if you don't want to spend time running by yourself you can always join Indo Runners. Indo Runners is founded in 2009 this is not just a mer community this is actually a movement for Indonesia we created Indo Runners to make sure that people are moving what I mean by movement this is not a club so it's free for everybody until today, we have about 60,000 members from 30 cities spreading from Jayapura to Aceh. And we have a routine program, including in, down here in X. It's called Thursday Night Run, every Thursday night. And also Sunday morning run, starting in FX as well. And it's all for free. The good thing if you can run with your buddies, you can run with friends, you will not feel that 
tiredness in your mind. So you can also find us in Twitter, Instagram, or Indomundo. Uh, just type in Indo Runners. This is just an example, uh, a, sh a graphic showing that our movement that's been starting since 2009 is growing really fast and it's growing really, really big. If we started with 49 members in Facebook in 2009, now we have about 25,000. And as of today, in Twitter, we have about 29,000 as well. So why running? Running is a healthy transformation. On the left is my friend, his name is Timo. He started to run in 2010. In 2014, that's his transformation. He's already doing an Ironman. Ironman distance, which is include uh, 3.8 swimming kilometer, plus 140 kilometer of cycling, and end with a 42 kilometer of running. And he's not a pro, he's just an ordinary per person just like me and just like everybody else in here. He's, uh, he's not being paid to do this, and he's doing this to enjoy himself. I think he lost about 20 kilograms uh, over four years. And the one on the right, the same thing, it's a good friend of me, uh, Ayu. She started to run in 2010, uh, 2012, and in 2015 she finished her third uh, marathon in Jakarta. I think you can see the transformation uh, quite well there. Why running? Running builds a strong friendship and networking. Running also brings us around. Uh, the, right now, the, uh, traveling it becomes the reason for us to travel. For instance, this one is in Berlin in 2014. Just recently, there are people. I sent about 30 people to Tokyo Marathon. So it's becoming more popular. Running, not merely for running itself, but also to travel around the world. And running could be fun as well. As you can see, this is a. Uh, experience that I had in Germany, in Berlin, not long time ago. And above all, good health is the best well. So please take care of yourself. Remind yourself to move around. I think it's time to run now. Mari Lari. Thank you.